and when both of them are activated, C, C2 will break down also into A for away, A for apple, A for away, and C to B will be bound. Is that right? Any question here? Now, these two babies become naughty, they become active. They are very happy, you know, one baby is okay, but if two babies are together, mothers know what will happen. This complex is very active. They plan, to, they plan to activate one more molecule, which is the real central molecule of complement system. That is C3. Now there is a turn, turn for the C3. So another baby is coming there. And this baby will be activated by the C3. And it will also lose its apple. What will be that? C3? A. Right? And what will be left behind? C3? B. So it means that this complex, this complex which is C4B plus C2B, this complex was able to convert the inactive C3 into active C3. Am I clear? These two babies were able to activate the next baby. So we can say the B fragment of 4 and B fragment of 2 together make a complex which can convert the C3 protein, complement number 3 protein into B fragment and A fragment. It means they can convert, these two can convert C3 from inactive form to active form. That is why these two baby group is called, another name for, special name for this is C3 convertase. Is. What is it called? C3 convertase. These two are called C3 convertase. Which can convert the complement number 3 into active form. Okay, someone find the mistake in my spellings. I'm always weak in spelling, so I prefer to write it like this, that it is C3 convertase. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Now you're happy. Fine. So this is C3 convertase, these two. Now, how many baby together? This was one, how many B component? C4B, C2B, and now one B more is added. What is that? C3B. Now look, these three are more naughty. Now they become all of them together. You get it? All of them now they are there is not the problem produced by two babies. How many babies? Three babies. Three babies. Right? And this is baby business. They will activate one more baby. How many babies have gone? One, two, three, four. What is left now? Five, of course. Usually 5 is after the 4, isn't it? So 5. Now, which protein will come into action? Complement number 5. five. So, all these 3 together, now activate, wake up the protein number 5. five. Please be active, there is something bacteria here, right? And now, right, C, 5. And it will, of course, lose its apple. So, what is lost? It will lose one fragment. C5A. And what is left behind? C5B. Is that right? It means that all three of them, all the red complex, which consists of C4B, C2B, C3B, all of them were able to activate which protein? So what should be that complex called? C5 convertase. You are yourself intelligent, isn't it? People have friends which are intelligent. C5 convertase. So now we know, again, let's repeat up to now, how the complement system is being activated under these examples. Right? There were bacteria here, and this bacteria have been in our body for significant time so that this bacteria has activated, bacterium has activated the immune system. 
an immune system has provided the antibodies against this bacterial antigen. If these antibodies belong to IgG group or IgM group, as soon as this antibody will comp complex with the antigen, especially if IgM as a singlet or IgG as a doublet, single molecule of IgM or double molecule of IgG, especially IgG 1, 2 and 3. IgG has four subclasses. So 1, 2 and 3, they can, they can activate the complement. IgG subclass 4 cannot. But anyway, if IgG or IgM bind over here, the tail portion of the antibody, which is called FC portion of the antibody, it undergoes transformational change. And during this, the molecule exposes the active part, which is able to interact with C1. As soon as C1 interacts with the antigen antibody complex, C1 becomes active but it does not fragment. C1 does not break down into A and B. C1 is not a baby, right? And it does not have an apple. Okay, let's change its face so that you remember it is not a baby. It is not a baby, <laughs> right? So don't talk about C1, B component or A component. Is that right? So this is for C1 is the mother. As soon as mother is activated by antigen antibody complexes, C1, babies will be activated in series. It's too logical to understand. Right, baby number four is activated first. Then it activates the baby number two. So in this way, their apples are lost. So what we can say that C4 break down into A and B component, B remain bound with the initial complex and A component, apple components go away. Then C2 also break down into A and B, A moves away, B remain there. When C4B and C2B make a complex, they convert into a special proteolytic enzyme complex which is called C3 convertase, which can convert the C3 called the baby number 3 and activate that. Of course, any baby who lost the apple will be very active and weeping and crying and disturbing, right? So C3B will be there. Right? So the first two, to, these two together act as C3 convertase. Right? As soon as C3B fragment is added to C3 convertase, whole complex is called C5 convertase. That is C4B, C2B, C3B. This five, C5 convertase will activate protein number 5 and protein number 5 will break down into C5A and C5B. And now C5B will be sticking to this. Is that right? C5B remain sticking to this main complex. In this example, suppose now what happens? Yes, what happens now? Actually, now this whole complex can do a very, very dangerous thing to bacterium. Don't forget bacterium. All these babies and their friends are coming to destroy the bacteria. They're not just playing a game for you. They're going to destroy bacteria. And now the real action will start. C5B opens a special pocket here and who binds here? Yes, C6 and C7 and then with them who binds? C8 and then C9. You know the counting, isn't it? So C5B will activate C6, 7, 8, 9. All this complex, now it is very important to understand, hold this complex, right? This complex, what is that? C5, B, C6, C7, first of all these two bind with C5 and then what bind? C8 and C9. Let me tell you what are these proteins. Actually. These are special type of proteins which have a shape like this. These are peptide molecules. These are special type of peptide molecule. These are very, very dangerous. You know, they're making a unity and then they become fight against it. All of them will make a circle. How they will make a circle? Look at it. This was C5B. On 